Hi guys! I'm back with a new vlog. Okay, today is January 27, 2018. It's about... It's about 9.01 in the evening. Um, ngayon na ako nag-start mag-vlog because... I was not okay earlier. Like, I was feeling crappy. I was busy. I was stressed. So, sabi ko, I no, no. I will not vlog in a sour mood, okay? But something really funny happened today. Um, share ko lang sa inyo. I think this will be the only clip for January 27. I don't know, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe not. But I had this one customer who, actually this happened not today, but a few days ago. I had this customer who is a Chinese feng shui master and he's legit. I've seen his work on a broadsheet before. I forgot his name. <laughs> and he actually lives near my bakery. And then when he entered the bakery, he was like, you know, a really... <laughs> you know, there was a... Uh, you know, your bakery is full of light energy. Parang yun yung ano niya, yun yung sinasabi niya. And you look like the person that needs to be on, um, to be hands on with this business. Then, tinanong niya, am I the owner? And I said, yes. And um, he asked for my birthday, my birth month, my birth year, and my birthday. Iinig talaga ng jeep, ha? Iinis ako. Ayun. Um, and then I said, I was born 1989, January 6th of 1989, so I'm a birth dragon, and uh, I know this year is supposed to be a not so good of a year for me, good in the sense of my wealth being very, very good, um, I need to hoard, yun talaga yung term niya, I need to hoard all the wealth I can, you know, get all the pop opportunities done and stuff like that. And the second thing is, the bad thing though is, yung health ko naman yung medyo magda-downside and some, you know, a lot of things will go downhill. But not to a point that I will lose hope. Oh, okay, guys. Sorry, guys. So, so yun, sabi ko, okay, so what do I need to do to ward off negativity, evil spirits, um, and stuff like that. First thing he said was super funny. He said, Get the freaking jeep away from your jeep for your jeep. He said, red, uh, Wear red underwear. And I was like, What? Huh? So I go back to the So sabi niya, Kasi red is an auspicious color in the. These jeepneys, I will puncture your tires and corrode your engines. That's <laughs> what I What he said was, I need to wear red because red is a lucky or an auspicious color in the Chinese I mean, term. Is it in Chinese belief? Um, so wear red underwear. So I said, um, what do you mean by red underwear? Red bra or red pants? That was, sabi niya, you can wear either just a red bra or a red on or red panties or both. Alam mo to what which you are comfortable with. And I'm like, okay, thank you for that. Second, um, I need to get a high shui. If you guys are into those things, please let me know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I need to get a high shui. Size way is basically like a, a card. It's like, nope, the only card I have right now is my SFS ID. I'm not gonna show you that. Um, it's like a credit card or a card, a plate that you can put in your wallet, and it's basically like the person in that 
car is like a grand palace master or something. I forgot. Tai Sui. And it's like a card that you show to the Tai Sui that you're like, hey, I'm not here to be your enemy. I'm here to be a friend. And um, the third one is like a lucky dog where, where I can wear it on my neck as a necklace, as a pendant, or as a charm bracelet, or um, I can have it like a pendant. I can put anywhere that I need good, better luck. Because um, although it's the year of a dog, um, although it's a dog and year of the dog's not particularly friends with the dragon, there's this lucky dog that you need as a guard dog. I'm not into, well, I do believe a little bit in the Chinese beliefs, Chinese Buddhist, you know, Chinese zodiacs. Because in some way, nagkakatoto, okay? Like, there was this one year when I was in college, you sinabi sa akin, you will have the worst year for your health. Usually, talaga pag dragons, health yung tinitira sa amin. But not necessarily the wealth and the relationships. Just your health. I don't know why. And I was sick a lot that year. I was getting cold a lot. I was getting... I, I actually got two um, episodes of ano matawag doon? yung sa tonsillitis. tonsillitis I got two episodes of tonsillitis tonsillitis for a year which is not good you know, I was, my doctor was really telling me, hey, you should get a tonsillectomy and I was like, no no, this is just my soja playing tricks I said no. Ayun, it's 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 amazingly true in a way. Um, yun, that's one of the weird and funny things happened. And then yesterday, hindi ko to na e vlog. Yesterday, I was outside. I was at an event with my GBDC family. I was quite busy, so I didn't vlog. Um, but you'll see an article up on my blog regarding that. Um, I'll talk more about it there. Because as much as possible, I don't want my work, my other work, to be shown a lot here. Kasi nga, it's kind of confidential. We do a lot of meetings. Maybe pag, like, maybe pag chill time naming lahat. I'll do a vlog with them. I'll do challenges with them. Alam mo yung medyo, pag nakita ata to ng boss ko, sabihin niya, bakit mo naman nasabi yan? Miss Cherry, get ready. <laughs> Miss Cherry, get ready. We'll be doing some fun things on my vlog. Okay. Um, one of my resolutions for 2018 is to involve other people in a YouTube life. Mainly people I know personally, so that they will understand what I do as a vlogger. Kasi, Years before I started doing, oh no, no, not years before I started, but when I started vlogging, I rarely include workmates, I rarely include office mates, alam mo yun, you can only get like a slight glimpse of Noella, of um, my niece and my nephews, my mom, and every everyone else in my life, kasi I don't want their private life to be bombarded with me. Like you're always on camera, alam mo yan. So I'm thinking about that. Um, maybe I'll start with the nieces and the nephews because they're more comfortable with me vlogging. Baka dun ako magsimula, and then si mama, you'll see my mama more. And the reason why I'm also including my mama more is because, to be honest, guys, ayo niya tong YouTube life. Ko. <laughs> she does not think of this as a work, as um, as my work. She thinks of this as a frivolous thing I do for fun. Alam mo yun, nonsense daw tong pag YouTube. Alam mo, nasasaktan ako minsan kasi parang hindi siya naniniwala na I make good stuff on the internet. She's very old school when it comes to technology, guys. So, pasensya na. But I love my mom nonetheless. She's still like, she's borderline supportive, borderline pessimistic. Kasi pag nakikita niya yung videos ko sa YouTube, 
she's like, oh my god, your background sucks. But you speak English very well, Anna. I love that. Mm, my bad, my good. Tapos, minsan kinokorek niya ako sa ano, sa... Sabi niya, you don't need to do this a lot on your videos, anak. Okay, why am I doing the typical Filipino mom accent? <laughs> Alam mo yun, may, may, may mga ganung moments yung nanay ko na parang she's borderline pessimistic, you know, but borderline supportive mother. Um, and most moms are like that. Most Filipino mothers are like that, okay? No, no joke. Like, when I started YouTube, I hid my YouTube career to my mother. I hid that thing from my mother. But the moment I received a letter from Google, and it was like this small envelope, and it says Google on it, my mom started freaking out. Like, why is Google sending you this, sending you this, Anna? What is happening? And that's when I told her, hey, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Yun, yun yung story nung... Siguro ako ng isang story time video of how my mom came to know my YouTube existence. She's not into YouTube. She doesn't watch videos on YouTube. But slowly but surely, she's getting into the technological stuff. Wait lang, dito yung sa kong boss. Hi! Ano siya kaya? Palmol, naroon ako. Load. Load? Wow ah. Kaya ko yung mag-open ng ano, restaurant. Hindi, sila na dito. Oo, sira na eh. Ayaw ko na mag-sira. Wait, we're filming. Pause.